another episode of JD in the Sub C. Um, yeah, I'm D. I'm back again. Uh, and today we're going to be putting some oil paints on these guys. Um, yeah, I'm doing each individual tile with this. Uh, it's going to be uh, a mixture of raw umber and some Van Dyke brown. Uh, and basically what's going on right here is that I'm going to be putting this on uh, rather thickly. Um, and yeah, we're spinning around here because I had to put this in fast because I didn't want to give you guys an hour and a half video. Um, yeah, so anyways, got cameras. This is the first one, so uh, bear with me. Learning process, just like all my other videos have been. Um, I uh, Basically, we're just applying this uh, somewhat thickly and then we're gonna go through with sponges and we're gonna take off most of it. Um, all right, we got the whole tile on. Yeah, here come the sponges. Um, this is uh, this is quite a process I've developed here. Um, now, in no certain circumstances is this a tutorial. Um, I, I just make this stuff up as I go along. I've been doing this stuff for so long now that uh, you know, I just come up with new stuff. And this is the way I'm doing this one. Uh, so I'm going to let you guys watch for a little bit here. And then I'll come in a little bit later. Um, yeah, this is, uh, this hopefully answers some of the queries I've gotten on social media and on the, uh, the YouTube channel page about the colors I've chose. Um, yeah, they were really bright. Um, <laughs> they always are. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, we're, we're just, we're going to generally wipe this off, um, I started using oils probably about a year ago now. Um, oh yeah, look at this one. Man, is that red screaming. Holy cow. But um, yeah, you know, I chose the real bright colors because I don't, after all these years of doing this, I'm really sick of highlighting. Um, you know, a lot of guys, they dry brush and you know, all that other stuff that goes along with it, you know, to make it look absolutely perfect. And one of the reasons I got back into Necromunda um, and the terrain is it doesn't look perfect. It's not supposed to look perfect. It's supposed to look really beat up and crappy, which is great because you know, after all these years of doing this, getting on 30 plus here, um, I'm really sick of making things perfect. Um, not to mention, it's not very much fun when you're just layering and layering and layering um one of the reasons i went to the oils was because well one acrylic paint's really stupidly expensive these days um and two um this gives me the opportunity because this isn't going to dry right away this is going to take a few days to dry as a matter of fact i've gotten into the concept of waiting generally a full week before i go ahead and go back to try to do uh, any next layering after this step um, kind of is nice here because now I can 
kind of learn how to use this new microphone and new video cameras a little bit more. Yeah, the focus is, I still have to work on things. So, sorry guys, thanks for being patient with me. Um, Jay's the one that actually knows how to use all this stuff a lot better than I do. Um, yeah, I'm just showing myself how to learn this, kind of like I did with the painting. So, but uh, yeah, anyways, getting back to what I was saying, the nice thing about this is, so I do all this today and then tomorrow, um, you know, it's still somewhat movable. Um, I can wipe down more if I want, wipe off more, I can apply more. Um, you know, you, you, you lose the speed, but this whole project that I'm doing right here is not about speed. It's about, you know, uh, making, making this have the immersion effect that I'm, you know, that I want for, you know, the people that come and play with my games. Um, yeah. So anyways, that's enough talking for a second. I'm going to let you guys watch a little more. nice things about uh, doing it this way um, well another nice thing anyways you can keep wiping and wiping and wiping and wiping and wiping and um, it's very difficult to see it right here but you know the the darkness gets even more intense as the paint dries um, that's one of the differences with oils um, you get a really good look at the beginning part of it and then it just deepens. Um, a lot of the harsh lines that you can see right after I do it here, um, they, they fade. Um, and you can mix it in. Now, one of the things that didn't take, um, my end step was actually doing the wall parts of this. Um, I take a very, very, very thin down version of uh, several colors and uh, just kind of drip it down the walls and everything kind of gets, you know, muddled together. Um, like I said, once you get past the idea of it having to drive immediately right in front of your face, um, it opens up an awful lot of... Uh, opportunities for you to do other stuff and get other effects without pretty minimum uh, effort, to be perfectly honest. Um, yeah, I changed, these oils uh, have pretty much changed a lot of stuff as far as the way I paint figures and, and stuff like that too. Um, just the price alone regulates it. I mean, I've had the same bottles of oils now for Ye well, at least two years now and and I haven't even finished them yet um, it's yeah this is really nice uh, and, and 
depending on you know what side of the fence you're on i i uh yeah once again this is not a tutorial this is just how i'm doing it um i'm sure there's better ways of doing it uh in fact i could think of uh, several other people that work with oils and work with other paint that do things a lot better than I do. Um, but yeah, this is all for me anyways. I'm not trying to, not trying to go to a golden demon or any of that other stuff. This is for me and the wonderful people that I play with. Um, you know, I am for the channel. I just, like I said, want to share. Yeah. Here's a good example. You can just keep wiping more detail. It's a little bit more like pushing it to where you want it to go. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, I'll let you get back to it. Okay, yeah, here's the parts. Um, now, of course, when you're doing this step, uh, make sure you're wearing some gloves and uh, make sure you got a lot of sponges ready to go. Um, that can get really out of hand quickly if you don't, <laughs> if you're not ready for it. This can turn into a tremendously huge mess. It is a pretty big mess the way it is. Um, one of the reasons I... <laughs> Really am taking to it to be honest this is an awful lot of fun this is this is by far the last three years this is about as much fun as I've ever had doing any kind of painting or anything like that just figuring out new new ways to make things look good um, yeah I have a video um, or I'm, I'm going to have a video on how I actually did the uh, the wall parts of this. Um, I tried to do it, but I was messing around. I tried to throw it into this one, but I was messing around with camera stuff and you know, I'm still not very good at this stuff. So um, I think I'll do a little short on it um, just to, I don't know. I released pictures on Facebook yesterday and it seems to be uh, taking off. People like this stuff that I'm doing here, even with the bright colors. Um, but, uh, yeah, it just didn't take, so I couldn't, yeah, I'll have to do something else with that footage, but it was really cool that I have the footage and I'm not filling my phone up so doggone much anymore. Um, yeah, uh, I think I have a glove blowout here a little bit later on and, um, you know, as far as cleaning up and stuff like that afterwards, um, if you just, you know, you get it on your hands or any of that other stuff it cleans up you know you can use uh, uh, brush cleaner or you can just use the spirits and some dawn dish soap um, that works out real well 
But uh, as you can see, I'm going through the sponges <laughs> at a pretty right, pretty, pretty good rate here. Um, but yeah, the toned down version of this that you can see as I'm knocking all my stuff around. Um, yeah, it, it just gets it gets more rich. I, I don't know, I know any other way to to describe it. The, the oil pigments, you know, they they take a second to dry. So, you know, you get a good look here while we're while it's still wet. And if it looks pretty cool, you know, just kind of leave it, uh, you know, and in a couple of days, it'll look cooler. <laughs> I really like the way this tones down. It's nice because those bright colors that I chose were somewhat off the chart. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyways, I'll let you get back to it. So, it, uh, yeah, as you can see, I had a glove blow out there. A um, couple of things, like I said, not a tutorial, but a couple of things that I found out as I've been going on this journey here. Um, when you are wiping off with the sponges, uh, you do a little bit better um, for effect, shadowing effects and things like that. Um, if you try to go down... Um, I know this isn't always a possibility in every case, but uh, and yeah, like this way I'm going sideways after I just said that. Uh, makes sense. Um, yeah, here we go. Some downward motions. Um, 
Now we're getting to the end of the video here. Uh, we're going to do a walkthrough in a second. Um, I just kind of wanted to take this time to say thanks so much, everybody. Um, I've been blown away with how many people have been uh, set up here. Yeah, here we go. Here's a walkthrough. Um, yeah, I should have another tutorial or a tutorial, another video uh, up and running next week. Um, yeah, and... Uh, Thanks so much, you guys, for watching, and have a great night.